Hi all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna review this, the Pacific Sun Algae Reactor. All right, so uh, here's the reactor itself. It's a um, nice looking bit of gear, but it's, uh, it's fairly basic. There's um, no sort of surprises or anything more than you'd expect there to be on a um, algae reactor. It is essentially a um, plastic tube that has uh, water feeding in from the bottom, coming out from the top, and uh, of course the all-important LEDs that uh, will fuel the algae growth. Within the reactor itself, I'm going to open it up, it just creates a nice little, um, nice little environment that you can put some seed algae on and um, get that there. Uh, growing away. Just take that LED tube out for a second. And you can see that it's um, got some nice little holes and things there that you can uh, attach your algae into. And looks like these are, yeah, you can actually move these around. How about that? In fact, they can actually come off. So that's that's a nice little touch. You can um, actually take these off if you want to give it a real deep clean. Um, the tube in the middle is obviously completely sealed because um, you don't want water getting on your LEDs. It's going to cause problems. But uh, one thing that I have noticed with the Pacific Sun algae reactor, which I haven't seen on others, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, I just haven't seen it. They've got a um, calcium reactor feed, which is, I mean, it's nothing um, crazy about it. It's just a feed from your calcium reactor effluent to go into here um, and then come out. The reason why that's such a great idea is the, um, the pH of the, um, the effluent from our calcium reactors are normally quite low. Um, it's just the whole way a calcium reactor works. It drops the um, pH of the water, which then melts the media. So your effluent's normally pretty low in pH and that's um, really nice and rich for growing algae. So pretty cool, it's got a nice little uh, calcium reactor feed. This is the medium sized reactor. They also do a small and a large. Um, and uh, if you have a look inside the tube here, it's nothing in there, nothing to get in your way to clean it out. So once you take that lid off, which it's got a whole heap of these thumb screws, a nice silicon um, o-ring there. So it's not going to leak. You can um, rest assured that you can put that um, outside of your sump because these are designed to run outside your sump. And uh, when time comes to cleaning it, you can um, pull that out and you can get a nice little magic sponge or something in there, give it a good clean. It's quite light too, so you're not going to be um, bogged down with anything. And we've got these nice uh, union fittings too, so you'd be able to um, unscrew those um, and uh, leave the rest. If you have the rest of your plumbing in place there, you can um, leave that there. You don't have to worry about fiddling with the hose fittings. All right, that's a, um, that's a bit of a superficial look at the reactor itself. Um, we can talk about the color choice, uh, how nice the uh, lettering is on top, um, whether you like the plumbing fittings or not. I could talk about that all day, but realistically, it kind of all pales in, in comparison, really, to whether this thing can grow algae or not, because if it can grow algae, pull those organics, nitrates, phosphates out of your tank water, um, and also promote algae growth in here instead of in your display, that's the whole purpose of these things. So. I'm gonna set this up on my main display. I'm that confident in it. Um, I've had a Zero reactor on there for a little while and I'm not really liking um, the results I'm getting from the Zero reactor. So I'm gonna take that out and pop this bad boy in its place. And um, yeah, let's set it up and see how we go. All right, so this is uh, the Avast uh, Zero shaker that I wanna take out. Um, as you can see, I only run a really little bit of Zero in it anyway, because I run a number of um, different uh, number of different uh, nutrient export processes, but uh, this one I deliberately put on a little while ago just to help me reduce some, some heavy metals. It's done its job. I don't think it's really providing any sort of benefits anymore. So I'm gonna yank it out um, and I'm gonna use the water flow from uh, the uh, uh, UV reactor here to come into uh, our PacSun reactor, which will sit in its place. So the water will come in down here and come back out and go exit the same place the um, zero reactor was going to anyway. So. We should be in uh, good shape, but uh, yeah, I'll just take this bad boy out and we're good to go. All right, I'll just uh, speed this footage up because you don't need to see me install this in real time. Whilst it's quite a simple device to install, um, my cabinet space is quite full because uh, as you can see, I have a lot of gadgets in my tank. All right, so I've got this uh, reactor all plumbed in now. All that's really left now is to um, add some algae, which I picked up from um, a local fish shop. I'm just gonna intertwine that into these um, rings here a little bit. Then I'll feed it back into the reactor, we'll flow some water through it, turn the light on and um, let it do its thing. One thing I haven't neglected to mention here is I have the light powered by a timer which has uh, the light cycle on opposite of my main tank display. So it's on for 12 hours a day um, from about 9 o'clock at night to 9 o'clock in the morning. 
and um, here's the reactor all uh, installed and running. You can see uh, it's beautiful and clean. It'll probably never look that clean again. It's got a little bit of uh, seed algae in there. You can see the calcium reactor is feeding into the reactor while it's filling up. Obviously, it continues to feed in there, but um, that's where that nice low pH effluent runs. You can see the cool little um, glow from the uh, red acrylic at the bottom or the orange acrylic. Uh, just gives you, if you weren't aware from the top that it's on, that gives you a good indication. But uh, let's let this baby cook and uh, see what algae it grows. All right, excuse me while I uh, crouch down on the ground, but it's um, been a week and uh, we're gonna open up this reactor now and um, have a look and see what uh, algae we've harvested. So um, I've taken the lines off it, um, I've just undone the thumb screws and they're lifted out and um, hopefully there's a whole heap more algae there and uh, we can harvest some off and uh, put it back in to grow some more. Okay, so whilst it may not be absolutely as chockers as I've seen, um, some of the ones on the internet, we've got to remember how little amount of algae I put in this reactor and um, quite a bit's come out. I'll just check inside. The, re the reactor itself is um, pretty dirty inside. It's got a fair bit of um, slime built up on it. So I'll give that a clean while I've got this out and about. But um, so far that's success. I mean, um, I run the sulfur reactor for nitrates. I run GFO for phosphate. I've got a pretty established tank with a lot of bacteria um, and uh, yeah, in a week we've been able to grow a fair bit of uh, macro algae in this um, keto here, so all in all, I'd say that's a success. Um, we'll give this bad boy a clean up and uh, put it back together. Okay, so to give it a clean up, all I did was grab a uh, magic eraser, the malamine foam, and uh, wiped that around in the reactor. It just took all the slime off the um, outside, and I did the same with the uh, rings here in the light tube. Once that was all done, I put it back together. I took um, half of that uh, keto out and uh, put the reactor back together, set her all up and uh, give her a week and um, do the same job again. Um, one thing I will point out, next time I cleaned it, I uh, removed the unions and took the unit outside to give it a good hose out, much easier. All right, so uh, that's where I'll wrap up this uh, review. Um, I've now been running the uh, Paxung Al algae reactor for uh, the medium sized one on my main tank for a month. Um, each week I've been harvesting a similar amount of algae out of it. In fact, probably a little bit more since I've upped the flow. Um, I have, in that time, I have not changed my GFO um, and it was already six weeks old at that stage. Uh, so it was probably due to be replaced. My phosphates were hovering around 0 0.08, 0 0.09. Um, the, I, I must admit, I'll, I'll be honest and say, I only test my phosphate once a week and uh, pretty much since then, since that first harvest, I've seen my algae, uh, my PO4 go from 0.08 down to 0.06, down to 0.04. Um, so it's getting to the point where my nutrients are getting fairly low and I may even take the uh, phosphate offline. Um, one interesting thing is my nitrates, um, they hover around the two to four mark. Um, they haven't changed at all. Uh, could all be because the sulfur reactor I run is fairly self-fueling. So um, when there's less uh, nitrate in the water, it, f it fuels less, so it takes less nitrates out. Um, so perhaps, this is consuming a bit of nitrate as well, and uh, this is taking the load off the sulfur reactor, which is which is cool. Um, but yeah, my nitrate levels stayed about the same. My phosphate's starting to come down uh, fairly rapidly, so yeah, I'm going to ease up on the GFO. Um, and I'm not sure what else I can tell you. It's um, apart from that, uh, the video you just saw then of uh, where I cleaned it. Since then, I've realised I should use the ball valve. Uh, sorry, the unions that come with it with the valve. Heaps easier if you uh, just undo the unions, take the unit outside empty it out, give it a hose out, give it a good clean, do whatever you need to do, um, and then bring it back inside rather than trying to clean it at the tank. It makes much more sense. Um, but uh, I guess, yeah, I've been in the hobby six years and I'm still learning every day. So um, yeah, I don't have much more to say about the um, Paxon L reactor. It's a simple device, but it works well. And um, that's probably uh, the key to this hobby. If you have any questions or comments at all, feel free to pop it in the uh, comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more, be sure to give it a like. Um, and uh, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd uh, really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, be sure to hit the little bell notification. That'll make sure that uh, every time I release a video, you get notified and uh, that way you won't miss any more. Thanks guys, bye.